Bridget Carter from The Australian. What's uh, Santa up to? Well, from what we understand, Jackson, there's plans afoot to potentially uh, sell half of the New Zealand portfolio, um, and that's worth the entire portfolio is worth about uh, three billion New Zealand dollars. Now we understand they're looking to do this either via an initial public offering of the interests in the centres on the New Zealand Stock Exchange, or potentially sell those interests to global pension funds. Now, why are they doing this? Because Westfield's strategy has been to do this. They've done it on numerous malls globally. Now, of course, we are talking about Centre Group, but Centre Group is the company that has uh, emerged out of this major Westfield restructure. So they are essentially uh, managing Westfield shopping centres. And Westfield has previously sold st uh, stakes to pension funds in Australia, um, overseas. It's been part of their strategy for some time. Right, okay. And so what do uh, what does it say about their strategy going forward in terms of how they're going to use the money? Well, from what we understand, the money's going to be used to pay down some of their debt. Centre Group's debt is about 38%. That's their gearing level at the moment. And it's not particularly high. It's possibly on the higher side for a property company. Uh, what one would assume is that they will use the money for redeveloping other shopping centres. Now you don't get the sense they're trying to offload these stakes on pension funds to, to deal with the coming changes that are happening to retail, what with the, uh, the increase in uh, online buying by consumers? Look, I don't think it's so much a response to that. I think Westfield will survive uh, despite the trend to online shopping. I think it will be more the competitors that are impacted by this structural change. However, with respect to the New Zealand market, it's a smaller market and we do know that Westfield has been wanting to focus on large iconic cities. So perhaps uh, they see this as an opportunity to uh, you know, uh, distance themselves from the New Zealand market but it's still capitalise on some of the opportunities uh, with higher yielding assets there too. Bridget Carter, thank you very much. Thanks Jackson.